Don't take my word for it, but I think the Benchmade Bugout is probably the most widespread, well-known knife in the EDC community as it stands today. I could be wrong, but being a part of the community, speaking to people, generally everyone that I've spoken to or seen in the EDC community either has one, has had one, or knows what the Benchmade Bugout is. And I'm guilty of it. My Bugout is probably my most carried knife to date of any knife that I own, purely because it's just basically almost perfect for anything you need it for like super solid holds an edge very well feels nice in the hand nice and sharp so just it's just a beater and it's sick and they're so good and everyone should have one but i do feel like i found some competition for the bug out and that's this knife this is the qsp parrot and it was sent to me by my friends over at Weapons Galore. If you don't know who Weapons Galore are, they're a knife and sword and anything basically that you need in terms of blades. They're a distributor of them from the UK. They're like the UK distributor for Civivi and We Knife, I think. So they've got a great stock of loads of great knives. I made a couple of videos last year about a couple of Civivi knives that they sent me. And as you know, Civivi are sick. And Weapons Galore are just a great bunch of guys. So they sent me this knife and were like, have this knife, we're not going to tell you how much it is. Don't look on the website, blah, blah, blah. Just try it, see if you like it, and then come back to us and let us know what you think. And I tried it, I've used it for a while now, and honestly, I do believe that this could be competition for the bug out. And it's a lot cheaper, let me tell you that. So what we're going to do today, it's going to be quite a quick video if I stop rambling now, but I'm going to run through a few specs on both of these knives talk through sort of like blade steels, sharpness, how well they hold an edge, action, ergos, the locking mechanism, you name it. Just to basically compare the two and see which one you feel you prefer and whether you might be like, well, if I haven't got a bug out, do I really need one if I can go and get one of these? First thing we're gonna talk about with these knives is the blade steel and the sharpness of both of them. So as you may know, there's a few different blade steels that the Benchmade bug out is made in. This one that I have is the S30 V steel, which is a great steel, holds an edge very well, nice and sharp when you get it sharp. And I just really like this blade steel, it works very nicely. The QSP Parrot is made from a 440C steel, which I don't know too much about, but it's hella sharp. Like straight out of the box when I got this from Weapons Galore, tried it out, how sharp it was, and it's ridiculously sharp. I just put it through a piece of paper and it just went straight through like butter and I was so shocked. So straight away it went in my pocket and I was like, I'm carrying this for a while now just to try and get used to it, see how it is. And I haven't sharpened it yet. It holds an edge very well. It's still as sharp as it was when I took it out of the box and I have used it quite a lot. So bug out, S30V, Parrot, 440C. Next up we'll talk about action. And as you probably know, if you know anything about the bug out, it's kind of known along with other bench made knives for how good the action is. Like just flies open and just drops shut. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. It's just so smooth, just glides open and shuts. Fidget Factor on the bug out is probably one of the most fidgety knives I've ever used, aside from the Protec Malibu, because that thing's like a fidget demon. But this is just, people just get annoyed because I'm just constantly doing that when I've got this knife on me. So the action on this is absolutely perfect, but I couldn't fault it at all. If you get it right, it stays right, and it's just great. Thumb studs on the bug out, you can change them, but the ones that come straight out of the box, they're great. Not sharp, good size, they just work, they don't cut your nails up, they don't hurt your thumb, they don't do anything bad, they're just great thumb studs, like standard thumb studs, but I just thought I'd mention that because I do need to talk about the thumb studs on this. Now the action on this, you can tell that it's a cheaper knife because it's not great. Like, it's very stiff. It, when it opens, when you get past that detent, when it opens, the action is good. It flies open and it's very smooth, but it's getting it past that. And now the reason I talked about the thumb studs is because the studs on this, they're quite pointy and they actually hurt. So I don't like the thumb studs on this. I'd like it if it came with more sort of like round flat thumb studs like the bug out has. But that's like the only downside really. In terms of the ergonomics, how nice it feels in the hand, 
the QSP Parrot comes with G10 scales and generally this knife does fit quite well in the hand. You can get a nice four finger grip on it. It's got like a little cut out bit there that you can use for your index finger. It's got like rivets on the top that you can use to like choke up a little bit on it and put your thumb on there and it'll grip so you don't slide around when you're trying to put a little bit more force behind it. So this actually feels really, really nice in the hand and I do enjoy using it because it fits nice and comfortably in my hands. And the bug out, this is just a bug out mini so it is a lot smaller than the full size bug out which I've never actually used. I've only ever used this one but it's exactly the same shape, it's just bigger. I currently have the Flytanium brass scales on this, so it made it a little bit more heavy aside from the like plasticky. I can't remember what they're made from, the original scales on the bug out. I think it's some sort of like glass and fiber and shit, but they feel plasticky. They feel similar to G10. But I thought I'd change them to be these brass scales because one, they look sick. Two, it made the knife feel heavier. And three, why not? Basically. And ergonomics on this are great. It is just very small. I've got quite big hands, so I struggle to get a four finger grip on here. Like, as you can see, my little finger does like fall off the end a bit. So it's not the end of the world. I can just like hold it with like the tips of my fingers and then it works fine. Little rivety bits there just inside the frame of the knife that you can use to grip it a bit more. But where it's such a small knife, it can be a bit awkward for me. I prefer to have that on the blade rather than inside the frame because rather than being like this, I could then be on the blade like I can with the QSP. So in terms of ergonomics, I actually prefer how the QSP feels in my hand compared to the bug out, purely because it's a little bit bigger. So I might maybe prefer the big bug out to the QSP rather than the small bug out, but the QSP just feels great in the hand. I really like it. And I like the rivety bits on the blade to grip my thumb so I don't slide and cut something I'm not supposed to cut. Locking mechanisms on the bug out, as we know, it's got what they call the, what the f is it called? Axis lock, that's what it is. On the bug out, we've got what Benchmade like to call the axis lock. So you pull this back and the blade shuts. It means you haven't got to worry about a little liner lock or a frame lock where you have to push here and then the blade's gonna fall down and you've got the, the chance of like snagging your thumb and cutting your skin open, which is not what you want. You can keep your fingers nice and out of the way, pull the lock back and it will close. Fingers nice and out of the way and you've got no chance really unless you're a complete idiot of cutting yourself. On the QSP, it's not like that. There's a liner lock. So it's basically, if you don't know what a liner lock is, there's like a little tab here, which like folds in when the blade goes out to hold it in place. And you have to pull that to the side and then push the blade down. And it works. There's a lot of knives that use it. I'm just personally not the biggest fan of it because sometimes they're very stiff and it can hurt your thumb. Sometimes if the action's really, really loose on a knife, unlike this one, as you can see, it just stays there. Like when you push it, like I said, you've got the chance of the blade falling down and hitting you in the thumb, scratching your nail up, catching your skin. It's not ideal. In terms of pocket clips, on the bug out, it comes standard with a nice deep carry pocket clip, which is what we like because then you can put the knife in your pocket. It sits nice and low. You can't see it. No one's going to worry about it because it's just out of the way and it doesn't stick up out of your pocket and look stupid. On the QSP, it's not a deep carry clip. It is right hand tip up carry and it's reversible on the G10 scales. You can see here to have left-handed tip up carry as well. I'm sure you can probably get a deep carry clip for it on somewhere like Etsy or something for quite cheap, but I've just not bothered because I just can't be bothered to be honest. So it sits quite nicely and it's reasonably low in the pocket anyway, but it's not a deep carry clip which I prefer. We've been going through these fast today. This is actually gonna be a really quick video. We're now on to the very last thing, which is the point that everybody wants to know, and that is price. Now, the bug out, standard bug out mini, should I say, comes in, I think I paid about 150, well worth the money, and I'm actually not that afraid to use it and beat it up as I would be for something else around that price range. Say like the Protect Malibu, they're about 200 pound-ish, and I use it, but I'm a bit more delicate with it than I am this because it's just, I feel like it can do more, if you know what I mean. And now the QSP Parrot, bet you can't guess how much it is. Because when they told me how much these cost, I was shocked. So this knife that I do believe is very good competition for the bug out, 
28 pound. 28 pounds for a knife this fucking good. It's ridiculous. And at that price point for something this good, it's gonna last so long anyway. But like, if you beat the shit out of this knife, like absolutely destroy it and you break it, what's another 28 pound to go and get another one? And with all that said, that pretty much wraps up the video. And I hope you got something from this video, like whether you've got a bug out or not, hopefully you decided whether you like the sound of the little QSP parrot. I think everyone should have one, not even necessarily just to keep in your pocket as a daily knife, like keep it in your car, or in your truck, in a pouch somewhere. So if you're somewhere and you need a knife, you've got the knife there, ready to go, you know you can rely on it, you know you can use it for pretty much anything and it will withstand pretty much anything, like I said. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go and do something now. I'm gonna go and have some lunch because I'm starving. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the QSP Parrot compared to the bug out. Let me know what you think about the bug out because I know there is sometimes some mixed feelings about the bug out. It's like 90% good, 10% people don't actually like it and I don't know why. So leave me a comment below. Let's have a discussion. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you next week. See you later.